Okay, today we're going to talk a little bit about excavator thumbs. We call them thumbs because they're really good. Some of the things you want to watch, some of the things you want to look for if you're planning on building a thumb or if you want a really good thumb. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the thumb tucks in completely out of the way so that it doesn't impair your uh, field of vision. So this one kind of tucks in this way and this particular thumb kind of tucks in this way. It's a little different type of thumb, but you can see that we've maximized all the space that we have available for this type of thumb. This particular thumb actually has a plate that goes on here, two bolts here, and it goes on, and I'll show you that in uh, one of the other pictures, where if you're using a wide bucket, then you might want a wide thumb to go with it. That's important. Number two, the uh, thumb itself has to use some hydraulics. It should run off one hand so that you're not using two hands uh, to control it. You're not pushing buttons or stepping on it with your foot. If everything works off one hand, it's so simple and easy to pick up just like the thumb. Could you imagine trying to use two hands, one thumb here and one thumb here? Yet some people that when they build them, that's the way they do it. But it should be on one control and you're using your bucket cylinder and then you just push a button and then now you're using the thumb cylinder which is really nice for picking up stuff just like your hand. This little curvature up here is really huge for this and it's designed, and I'll show you this later, it's designed uh, so that you can actually dig backwards with it if you're in a place where you have to dig, dig backwards. Uh, this, this particular thumb is designed for that purpose. So how we accomplish this um, how we accomplish this uh, ability to work with one hand is to put in a, uh, a diverter here so that if you're either using the cylinder, it just diverts over to the, the thumb with a push of a button. And there's a, uh, a second one up here that we're using so that we're actually diverting from the uh, dipper cylinder uh, to another set of hydraulics. So in case you wanted to use, if you wanted to hook up a, uh, uh, an, uh, a post hole digger, or if you wanted to hook up a hammer or something like that, there's another set of hydraulics up there for that too. Not everybody wants that. Not everybody uh, gets that specific. So we'll move over to this one. And this is kind of a unique uh, thumb. It actually has some pieces in it that make it, uh, that make it really nice. This particular thumb is a wider thumb. That one is only eight inches. This one uh, is a little wider and it actually comes apart. I'll show you how that works. You see that the bucket cylinder works off the one control. You just put it one way or the other way. But if you push the button and use the same control, you're now using the thumb. So it makes it really easy. If you like all of it, it just goes over here if I go the other way. So I can use both sides whatever way I want. Okay, to save a little time, I'm going to run this at three times the speed just so you've got an idea how this thumb works. You'll notice that it can be opened up, it can be disassembled, it can be rearranged, it can go wider, it can go narrower, it can go longer. And this is a plate that we use on the for the rake to pick up stuff. This is another particular attachment that we have. We have a multitude of attachments that we can put on to get different lengths and we're showing that there and all it is is one pin you put one pin in and it does it there's the wide plate you can have rake plates you can have uh, angle plates there's many different uh, accessories that go with this but just for the sake of time I'm going to put uh, this particular one on and uh, you'll see that it opens very wide we uh, depending on what bucket you're using you can still go wider you can go wider on the on the length or you can go narrower and you can go smaller and it's just a matter of one pin you put the pin in and you put the lock pin on it and you're good to go
going to switch over to the concrete bucket right now and you'll notice all we have to do is add a little attachment on the bottom and we're set to go now the thumb can operate with this concrete bucket any bucket you have is usually different and that's why the thumb is made so that it can be different also it tucks in real nice when you're storing it and it's absolutely fabulous One shot. <laughs>